Together forever? Almost. How long did Jason Momoa crush on Lisa Bonet before they met? And who else once laid claim to the Hollywood hero's heart? Keep watching to learn more. Jason Momoa met Simone Jade McKinnon on the set of Baywatch in 1999, when the series filmed in Hawaii for a period of time. McKinnon played the character Allie Reese and was on the series from 1999 to 2000. Momoa played Jason Lone and had a slightly longer stint on the classic TV show, staying until 2001. The two clearly struck a chord because they began dating, and in 2004, they got engaged. However, they ended their relationship in 2006. Despite the breakup, Momoa has stayed amicable with McKinnon. In December 2013, The Daily News reported that the two greeted each other outside a party. The timeline is a little more difficult to determine when it comes to Momoa's relationship with Lisa Bonet. The latter told Nata Porte that she met Momoa in 2004, saying, "...I can't say it was full-on from the moment we saw each other, but we have been together from the day that we met." Before we carry on with Jason Momoa's timeline, we should talk about his next love interest romantic history. Lisa Bonet met Lenny Kravitz at a New Edition concert, and they tied the knot in 1987 before welcoming daughter Zoe Kravitz in 1988. Lenny opened up about the impact of his relationship with Bonet, telling Men's Health, "...it was the first time I'd opened up like that and had known love like that and freedom. And watching her do what she did, how she maneuvered, in her artistic life, it was that last thing I needed on this road. This sound, this message, this movement that I was looking for, I heard it in my head. Bonet was artistically influential and co-wrote some of the songs on his 1989 album, Let Love Rule. For Bonet, she spoke with Netta Porte about the impact of their 1991 separation. To survive it, Bonet said that she had to go through, quote, a very accelerated time, spiritually and intellectually. This was primarily to protect their daughter. She said of the experience, I didn't want to pass on those heirlooms and this fresh wound of a divorce. The two remain close and Lenny said he's also tight with Momoa. Jason Momoa grew up watching Lisa Bonet on The Cosby Show and admitted much later that when he was small, he told his mom that she was the one for him. When James Corden asked Momoa on The Late Late Show if it was love at first sight, Momoa said, "...it was more than that because ever since I was like eight years old, I saw her on the TV and I was like, mommy, I want that one." I'm like, I'm gonna stalk you for the rest of my life and I'm gonna get you. Oh, did you? Did was, I am was a, a full-fledged stalker. Did Bonet know this early on? Heck no. Momoa told Corden, I didn't tell her that until we had two babies, otherwise it would be creepy and weird." I've always wanted to meet her and I was, she was a queen, always. After marrying Bonet in 2017, Momoa felt like he could pretty much do anything. He told Esquire, "...if someone says something is impossible, I'm like, listen here, I married Lisa Bonet. Anything is possible." She came. My muse. The love of my life. Jason Momoa came into Lisa Bonet's life after she welcomed daughter Zoe Kravitz with her ex-husband. Happily, Momoa and his stepdaughter have a close relationship. When he spoke about Bonet in a short film for the Carhartt brand, Canvas of My Life, he mentioned the children Bonet gave him, which included Zoe. He calls her Zozo Bear in the clip, and she reportedly calls him Papa Bear. At the time of that particular interview, Zoe was married to actor Carl Glessman, and Momoa gave love to him, Zoe, and Lenny when he gushed, I love her husband. I love her dad. I hope and pray my daughter is that talented and loving and open and close to her family." Zoe has been clear that she reciprocates the enthusiasm and adores her younger siblings, Lola Momoa and Nicoa Wolf Momoa. She told Nata Porte in 2017, "...I always wanted siblings and I'm totally obsessed with them. But I still have only child syndrome. I'm bossy." Becoming a father was a transformative experience for Momoa and even shaped his relationship with himself. He told Men's Health, I really can't tell you what the hell I was doing before I had kids. Just f***ing off. Wasting time. I think I was pretty reckless and definitely a bit out of control. Now I'm more focused. I probably love myself more and take care of myself more because I want to stick around." Momoa, as he said in Canvas of My Life, was raised by a strong single mother. And when he himself became a parent, it felt all too natural. I'm a father. I found my place. The experience of parenthood often leads to the question of legacy, and this is no different from Momoa. He spoke to Men's Health about how the greatest thing he ever does would be to, quote, make good humans. He also talked about his plans for his children, saying, "...if I can pump them full of amazing stuff and surround them with beautiful art and music, then I'm going to live out my life watching them. They're already way smarter and just way better than me." Jason Momoa has a knack for playing the take-charge character who saves the day, but with a vulnerable side. But bringing such dimension to a character might not be such a stretch for him, as he's very much a lovable force to be reckoned with in real life, too. As Lisa Bonet told Netta Porte, "...what's cool about Jason is that he's an alpha male who stands for love and family." Momoa helped her heal from her own difficult childhood, filling in what she didn't get. She said, "...and to circle back to my own wounds, having an absent father, then to be fully met by a man of that stature is really incredible." 
Bonet didn't shy away from praising her husband, saying, Jason embodies a rare form of masculinity in this day and age. He's a leader. He's generous. Just in terms of charisma, physique, the right use of power, responsibility, work ethic, you can go down the line. For Momoa, he's been searching for the experience of fatherhood his whole life. Ever since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a father. It seemed like they filled in the missing blanks for each other. Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet didn't just build a family together, they also collaborated as artists and actors. He directed the 2014 film Road to Paloma, where Bonet played Magdalena. They also collaborated on the TV series The Red Road, which ran from 2014 to 2015. In that show, Bonet played Sky Vanderveen and Momoa played Philip Copas. Momoa spoke about the experience of producer Bridget Carpenter approaching them for the project, saying, we looked at it, and it was completely opposite of what we had just played. We never thought we'd work together again. It wasn't like I said, I'm only doing this with my wife, but it was great because it's the opposite of what we played in the movie. And she really dug it and wanted to do it. It's definitely fun, working across from your partner. And in 2020, they even appeared in a Super Bowl commercial together for Rocket Mortgage. And it's as charming as anyone would expect from the two. What does home mean to me? It's my sanctuary. While we know that Lisa Bonet has a preference for privacy, especially when it comes to her romantic relationships, she did occasionally pop up on Jason Momoa's social media. In August 2020, he posted a YouTube video called My Wife's First Mustang. Momoa shared the process he went through of getting back Bonet's first car, a Ford Mustang, and chronicled the intensive refurbishment of it. The car was in rough shape when he got it back, though the final product was breathtaking. Momoa explained, This is a big dream come true because this was my wife's first car. He went on, to be in this passenger seat with my wife here and surprise her, and our babies in the back riding in the first car when she was 17, I'm excited to see her face. Bonet was speechless when she saw the gift, and they rode off into the sunset together. Typical of the persona he emits in his films, Momoa is an open book, a rowdy, gregarious extrovert. For Bonet, she prefers to keep things close to her chest. Momoa told Esquire, She's very, very, very private. I'm the opposite, like, come on in! For this reason, he rarely posts about her on social media. Momoa's respect for Bonet's privacy has occasionally caused some confusion among fans. Take, for instance, when Momoa celebrated Game of Thrones showrunner David Benioff's birthday with Amelia Clark and posted about it on Instagram. At least one fan incorrectly assumed it was a birthday post for Clark, saying, Am I missing something? He posted Clark's birthday but not his own wife's? While the post was misinterpreted, the question does point out that Bonet rarely appeared on his public platforms. That wasn't the only misunderstanding spawned from Benioff's birthday reunion. The palpable on-screen chemistry between Jason Momoa and Amelia Clark in Game of Thrones was not lost on fans. So when Momoa posted some photos of himself and Clark on Instagram in August 2021, people noticed. Clark also shared one of the photos on her own social media and added the caption, when your son in stars rolls into town, you check that he can still bench press a Khaleesi. While Momoa and Clark posted the photos before announcing Momoa's split from Lisa Bonet, fans returned to it with a different perspective. Obviously, the two were referencing the language of their characters, but people began speculating about a romantic connection between them. One person commented, Girl, I truly hope you are not a homewrecker. As far as we know, Clark is single. She was previously in a relationship with American director Charlie McDowell, but they called it quits in 2019. But though the photos seem intimate, Entertainment Weekly points out that the two actors have known each other since 2011 and have been close friends ever since. For all those who love Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet's relationship, it was tough to discover that the two called it quits in January 2022. In a since-deleted post, Momoa shared a statement from both of them on his Instagram, saying, we have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding, and our family is of no exception, feeling and growing from the seismic shifts occurring. And so, we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage." They went on, "...we share this not because we think it's newsworthy, but so that as we go about our lives, we may do so with dignity and honesty. The love between us carries on, evolving in ways it wishes to be known and lived." They added a dedication to the sacred life of their children and finished with, "...may love prevail." In a conversation with Interview Magazine in December 2021, Bonet curiously used the same language, saying, "...the revolution is definitely here, and we're all feeling the squeeze." Later in the interview, she added what she was working on, saying, "...definitely learning how to be authentically me, learning to be new, and following this invitation from the universe to step into this river of uncertainty. It's time to grow our roots deeper into our own values." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.